with the eyeshadow so I'm gonna try and find yeah there's only one orange transition shade transition shade um, I'm trying to get the English correctly so I'm gonna go into this orange color the one that I used on my last tutorial so be rough but also easy at the same time at the blending So after that, I'm gonna go into the black. Ooh, what is that? That one. to be black black and I'm also bringing it all up here on my um not eyeshadow what's that thing on my eyebrows so I still need a little color everything is just gonna be quick today <laughs> so I'm gonna cut my crease I'm gonna cut my crease using the wet and wild pro so conceal Pro Conceal um, Concealer in the Colors of Beige. I don't want it quite defined, so I'm just going to do a little miniature cut crease. I'm going to deposit um, some of the concealer. It's so hot, everything is melting. The concealer is a bit liquidy today. today so I don't know I will just clean everything else up so I'm kind of looking for my flat brush and of course I can't find it oh here it is and then we are gonna go be going into the um, good vibes um, eyeshadow palettes this is so great for traveling and I'm gonna go into this darkish color. It's sort of like a shimmer cut shade. It is a shimmer shade. It's not sort of, it is a shimmer shade. Can I tell you, the pigment on this thing is flipping amazing. So 
So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to go into the lighter color. I think I'm going to go into this shade. I don't know if it's going to be the same because of my skin tone. Yeah, it kind of looks the same. Same-ish. It's the same-ish and then I'm looking for another clean flat brush but then a precise one. So I'm going to take this little baby, I'm going to go to the lightest color here which is this one. So I'm going to put it in the front. I wish I had glitter eyeliner so I can just define this. This was quite affordable by the way. I don't remember how much it was but it was very affordable for me. I bought it at Clicks. You can also find it at this camp. This camp also carries this type of thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the... Um, what is this thing? I'm going to go back onto this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to still go into the black and try and define my crease a little more. Sorry guys, my niece is visiting and she's here with a bang. You know her. We are quite not done so we are going to finish up with the eye when we are done doing the other when we are done doing the rest of the face, let me um, carry on with the other eye offline, I'll be back. So I am basically done with the other eye and I thought that um, since we're doing an 80s look, it was all about hair. So I want to add more glitter. So we're going to be using the Wet n Wild um, liquid cat suit. It's a liquid cat suit and hopefully this doesn't mess up the look. Oh. Wow, this thing is completely dry guys. So... I don't know, I'm looking for a precise brush. I don't know if this will be precise enough, but if not, oh well, then the look is ruined. <laughs> well, what's going on with this glitter though? It seems like it's messed up. So we're gonna leave it here for now. Um, we're gonna continue with the face right now. This is not a wet and wild ad, by the way. We are gonna go into the face, and today we are gonna be doing what we usually don't on this channel, which is priming. Ooh. Uh, this is what the primer looks like. It's actually new. It has this little pin, so you guys can see. Ooh. Ooh. Look sexy. Apparently, doing this is unsanitary, guys. So I'd say that you mustn't do it. Uh, but I'm gonna do it today because it's new, and I've always wanted to do this. Clean hands first. Remember, I washed, I wiped, and I sanitized my hand. So this is basically. Um, I don't think it's oily skin friendly because it's basically it's supposed to rejuvenate. So what's that word? What's that word that they use? It's supposed to hydrate, hydrate, rejuvenate, same difference. Oh, I still want more. I want more. I want more primer. So some other people use a brush, but sometimes using a brush irritates my face. Hence, I don't use much of brushes, so I'm going to let this sit for a while, so let it get sticky and we can continue. So the primer is sticky enough 
for me anyway it's sticky for me it, this is going to be a fire primer i can tell especially going out in the sun and i'm going to be taking like a trip to the tropicals <laughs> i'm lying i'm going to go to clear town so this is going to be great in the uh, heat um and whatever so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to continue with my face i'm going to be using the smudge um perfecting concealer in the color almond Remember guys, don't be too forceful with your sponge. This is just to um, remove the darkness under my eye. And then um, it helps me actually use less foundation. And I'm going to be going in with the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. As you guys can see it. Guys, it's unsanitary using it like this. If you're doing it on your clients or whatever, please um, put it in a pan or something like that. So I'm going to be using the same um, beauty sponge to blend the foundation out on the outer parts of my face, which is like my cheeks. This is full coverage, by the way. It doesn't play any games. What I can tell you about this primer, um, it smells great and it's sticky and you can tell the difference on my makeup today it's very 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 different than um how i really do it um everything just stick so i'm gonna go in between my eyes on that part and now we're looking all nice and chocolate oh my god the hong kong pop it's probably terry's fur oh my god oh my god <laughs> So we are going to go back and I'm going to be using um, the smudge concealer in the color soft beige. The soft beige has erased. This is what the concealer looks like. Um, this retails about like 23 something at Hex. And today I'm going to try not do... Why not? Let me do the fox eye. I'm going to try and lift it. Lift my eyes a bit. And then also I bring it close to my nose to reverse contour. today you guys are seeing the truth and i'm gonna go be going into my pro conceal in the color um porcelain just to highlight because the 80s and i love doing this because the 80s were all about brightness bright under eyes and making black people look ashy <laughs> oh my god the 80s the drastic drastic makeup change from the 80s to now and we're grateful to the makeup pioneers who actually helped us black women flourish look good you know probably we would still be looking at she missing our chances <laughs> And you guys know how we do. I'm gonna be reverse contouring. And yay, we're gonna be using another new product, which is today we're gonna be cream contouring. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in the color Chestnut. This is what it looks like, and I want this to focus, focus, baby, focus. This is quite beautiful. I just fell in love with the shade. It doesn't have any smell to it. I love the tone, it's so... Mm. It's so warm, so it's gonna bring warmth.
it's gonna bring warmth to my la 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 to my face 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 face. So I'm gonna be blending it out with the brush, and I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm going back into my soft beige concealer and I'm going to try and draw a slim line in between and it wasn't straight as always I'm going to go into the other side of the angle brush that I used to contour my nose and just um, yeah try blend it out not completely blend it out because that's my nose is the parts that I use to transform my face So I'm going to go over to the darker side and try and contour this line and make it as slim as possible. Okay guys, before my under eye starts creasing, I'm going to be going into the Yardley Loose Powder. looks like what I'm gonna that guys um my phone died so what are we were doing we were reverse baking reverse contouring whatever I want to um nose contour not nose contour to bronze my nose and I'm gonna be using the contour intuitive um next face palette i am face palette i don't know i think i should stop using next product i don't know what do you guys think so because next is not um no longer being sold in south africa so i'm going to be using this dark color to actually contour it's no longer being sold in this country so i don't know i don't know most of the people that i'm influencing with these videos where are they from so just let me know although i love next to death like if you know me you know me and next vibe NYX is like, it's something that I hold dear to my heart. I was heartbroken um, when they decided to leave the country. Obviously, there's reasons behind it. If they're not making much profit, so why, why would they stay? So I'm also going to be going into this contour side and I'm going to be going into this dark color right here. And I'm going to do my cheek bronzing. It's a bit deeper than my contour. I wish I had a bronzer that's like as it's as warm as my contour stick. I think I'm gonna go back to Wet and Wild at Kicks and just see if they don't have chestnut as a powder. Cause we are gonna be using that powder as a contouring powder. Cause what we do, we bring in color back onto our face and stop being ghostly. And you know, just bringing color and the structure back. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna literally gonna go into my Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm gonna be taking away this powder that I used to reverse contour. This is in the color three five zero, in the color caramel, and it works great. So why am I using this bad side? This side is quite bad. Most of my brushes are dirty. Hey, I need to wash my brushes. And at the same time, I'm going to take away this white cast from the um, from the loose powder using my damp sponge on the same side. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to be going into my caramel because I want my under eye to look more of caramel than ghostly. So I'm just literally just pressing it onto my skin. I think something got into my eye or something. I 
I'm pressing the caramel onto my skin to give me that deeper highlight. The face is starting to come together. Together. Okay, let's do the lips now. I feel like I want to do the lips now. That's what I feel like I want to do. Mm, do I want to do the lips? Or, oh, guys, I'm all over the place. Forgive me. That's literally how I am. Oh, wow. Well, I'm going to be using the Essence um, eyeliner in the color um, Hot Chocolate to... Oh. So I'm going to be going into the, um, I think this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Eyeliner, it's in black and you don't have to do this but then I also want to go complete 80s on this MS. Your words are lost on me, it's taking everything. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be using, my boyfriend bought me this. I'm gonna be using the Essence Lip Gloss in the color Big Bang. Oh, my boyfriend is amazing, guys. It's kind of purplish, but it's a gloss. Not to turn around. Throw it away. See if you'll let go of me. When you're not holding me Let's leave the lips for now and continue with the eyes What we'll be doing in the eyes right now I'm looking for something I can't even find it So I'm going to be using this And I'm going to be going into my makeup revolution palette And I'm going to be going into I'm looking for a nice shimmer shade there's no shimmer shade, but then I wanted to do blue on my under eye, so I'm going to be going onto this blue like so. Yeah. I can see it now. Hey, when I lose, but if I'm going to lose you. I'm like so that is my um eyeliner <laughs> oh goodness gracious now I'm all over the place so I want to go back into my Estee Lauder eyeliner it's, I think it's double wear it's in the color and ah, no, it's just says eyeliner <laughs> put on my falsies while I was like offloading um, the full space. I didn't delete last night's video. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go into the natural finish setting spray and I'm... That is going on. Sheesh. Sorry about that. I'm going to set the rest of my whole face. What? What was that? <laughs> what was that? That was harsh. So I'm going to be going into the Wet n Wild Mega Glow, not sponsored, <laughs> I'm just, it's just my go-to drugstore brand, like literally. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, highlight my nose, not something too drastic because in the 80s they went heavy on with the highlights. They went coins, like we're trying to be like 10 cent coins, the coins. Sometimes everything was on the line Didn't want to be the one who had to say it No, I can't rewind the time Don't I look 
pretty there. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm loving this. Uh, might I just say, I'm loving this. Oh, I forgot blush, guys. And y'all don't say that Tanji forgot blush. Y'all don't need this lady to flourish. This lady from the a to flourish. I decided to put blue just to get a pop of color because the 80s was all about disco, was all about fun, about colorful, about crazy, crazy, crazy unstructured makeup. I'm just gonna say it, it was about unstructured makeup. Yes, I said it. So I'm gonna go into the um, Love Palette by Essence, one of my favorite drugstores. I'm gonna just try and blush. I should have blushed before. But then I can't give you that blush. Some other people can't understand women that wear blush. Oh well. It is what it is. Blush does something. I can't really explain what blush does. Like a uh, grab something. So I'm going to press everything onto my face so it's not just sitting. So everything looks well blended and I'm going to go in. So I can't decide if I want my hair down or up today. I don't know, I feel like I need something else on my lips. My lips look a little too purple. Too purple. I don't know if it's gonna mess up. I'm just gonna go into my concealer and I'm gonna try and change the lip color. Doesn't make it look nasty, man. My looks just nasty. I'm gonna go into the Big Bang. Um, by Essence, one of my favorite drugstore brand. If you want affordable makeup, Essence and Wet n Wild are for you. And then we stand affordability affordability on this channel. Let me go make myself look cute. Oh ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la. So we have completed the look. I decided to use a little bit of props that are so 70s or 80 or so disco-like, especially this hoops, this ghetto hoops. Ghetto hoops, ghetto hoops, ghetto hoops. The bigger the hoop, the better the <laughs> So basically, I decided to use this hoop and then um, I'd literally prop this whole look with this glasses. These glasses are from the fix and then I just keep them like this. It's a look. It's a look. I don't want to lie. It's a look. 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 So guys, let's talk about the new products that were used on the video. I absolutely enjoyed making this video, guys. So guys, did you hear about the WhatsApp thing? So what are your thoughts about it? So me and my family, me and mine, we've decided to just leave WhatsApp. I don't care whatever they say. Me and mine, we've decided to just... Psh, out of baby. So basically, we use two Wet n Wild products. What I can tell you is that Wet n Wild never disappoints. Um, the Prep and Prime Focus, my makeup looks flawless today. Like, even looking at the mirror, it's not just the lighting. Even looking at the mirror, it is so crazy flawless. So today, if you're just catching in, we uh, we did a 80s glam inspired look. Half of disco wish, half of glamorous, using darkish and anti tones, anti shimmers, and also this pop of blue to just emphasize the disco and the 80s. I think it looked nice. I think it came out pretty well. And then, guys, this, this, I actually have to get another highlighting shade for this. This is the one. This, if you're not gonna buy the primer, if you're not a primer person like me, what I can say, you have to buy this. But then, a primer really, really, really makes a difference, guys. So guys, every product that has been used is going to be on the description box. I think they are 100 and something, 100 and, but then they're not 200. They are less than 200 each. So guys, what I can tell you is go grab yourself this babies and grab yourself a highlighting shade of this. So guys, so we can do this Fenty type of things. If you can't afford tech, if you can't afford Fenty like me, better improvise, better improvise, woman, woman. So guys, thank you so much for watching. What I want you to do, if you enjoy my type of content, if you enjoyed this energy, subscribe, hit the notification bell right near the subscribe, just right, right beside the subscribe, share, like, subscribe, 
Oh my god, comment, like, share, subscribe, and lastly but not least, hit the notification bell. I love it when you do. Guys, I'd like to say, I'm gonna see you on my next video. Stay popping, stay shining. I promise I'll put down my pride. Don't look back because I mean it when I